Thank you, this looks amazing. It is that time again when I get together with some of my friends and talk about a burning hot topic. I am your host, Jean Carl Adjuman, and welcome to Real Talk. We are here at Peppercorn Avenue in Lecky Phase 1, so let's hop into the conversation. Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, you all look really nice, you look good. Okay, so guys, y'all know I'm always on social media. And with everything that's going on in social media, it's got me thinking about two particular words, right? So insurance and assurance. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and in regards to relationship, but when it comes to insurance, right? Is that what's more important, such as the long-term potential of the person that you're with? Or is it the assurance, the constant reminder that, okay, I love you, I want to be with you, it's me and you against the world, like that constant assurance. Which one do you think is more important? I think that two are important, yeah? Mm -hmm. But if, if you're going to say assurance, like it depends on the person. So, for example, the girls who, or the women, not girls, because we're all grown. <laughs> <laughs> so we like to say. <laughs> the women who prefer to be told, I love you, and reassured every time. It's like, oh, this is how I feel about you. And then there are women who will be straight off irritated by it. Like, it feels like it's too much. You're choking me with all these confessions of love. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm one of those people. Like, I don't want to hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm better off if you show in your actions. Not necessarily, and that doesn't necessarily mean buying me presents. It's just like you show it in every in the everyday activities or in the things that we do together. I, I can see that, or I can see the way you feel about me, as opposed mm -hmm. to like constantly saying I love you. Because at some point, the words lose their meaning. I really feel like assurance, insurance, man, they're both important. You know, mm -hmm. um, assurance means a woman who's able to help me fulfill my goal, my purpose, my destiny. Um, I'm working every day. I'm putting in so much work into this. Into I need support. I need a support system. I need somebody who's going to hold stuff down that I can't hold. Um, for insurance, I have to also be, um, as a man, you have to be sure that this baby is going to be there for like you know the long haul, not just when things are up, but when things are down too. Whether it's assurance or that it's insurance or whatever, it all comes from the security yeah. that you are looking for. So everyone has the level of security that they're looking for. There are some ladies that are looking for a guy who will change their Range Rover every six years. Mm. There are some ladies, they want a guy who will come home every day at six o'clock. It's the level of security that you're looking for. They just need to know that, okay, if it's finance, if it's taking care of the home, or if it is um, anything whatsoever, that is what they're looking for. And they need to know that this person that they're with can actually hold that down. So I think it's all about security. Whether it's assurance or insurance, all oh, those yeah. things are, they're neither here nor there. Because at the end of the day, okay, someone will buy a girl a Range Rover, or someone will buy a girl a Toyota Camry or a Nissan Murano. It's what your pockets can handle at the end of the day. So it's not about the magnitude of the things, but it's what matters to the person. And that is what I think is most important. Okay. Do you think that relationships should be about what you get, what you can put in, or what you can get out? Hmm. I think it definitely works both ways. Okay. For me, I think it's two ways. Now, it depends on what you can put in, yes. But when you constantly keep putting in, the only way you can keep putting in is if you're getting back as well. You need to be fed to, con to constantly feed. And it's not tit for tat. So it's not, I buy you a watch, you buy me a watch. No, it's, I buy you a watch and I don't want anything in return. You always give me food and you don't want anything in return for that. But we are just constantly feeding each other and that is what will make it work down the line. But, you know, if it's... It's not, it's, not, it's not that contractual, you know. And it's I also not. think that what you put in determines what you get out of it a lot of times. Yes. So if you are the one, for example, I have a guy I'm with, I keep, I cook, I cook for him. I don't think I'll be I mean, that like, person. That is fine. Oh, that is fine. I have been domesticated. <laughs> Say, I shall <laughs> you. food I, I, in well, the village. <laughs> if, if, I'm going to, if, if I'm with somebody and I say, okay, I'm going to cook for him, I want to go to his house and help him clean his place. God forbid, I'm not that woman. But if I decide that I want to do that, I don't think that there's any guy who really cares about you and sees all the things that you're doing for him and wouldn't want to do something back for you. 
you understand? Like, if he says, even if he's the one always buying you things, there's some point where you start to think, like, he's, I'm always the one receiving, why don't I buy him something? But I'm I mean, gonna, that's how, I'm, I'm speaking for For yourself. No, no, and I completely agree. No, no, I completely <laughs> agree. But the re let's be re um, realistic about the world that we live in. There are because, some people that will just keep on, I mean, if you want to give. But you yeah, see, no, but that, like, does what, that make you, what, what he kind of said, does that make it, you? It, it, it goes back to what he said. It's about security, mm -hmm. you know? So if I constantly give and you don't give me anything in return, I'm talking about I'm not talking about like just materially. I'm talking about you know emotionally, um, psychologically, physically, mm -hmm. socially. Mm -hmm. You have to give back emotionally, especially. So if I'm only the one pouring into you, I'm giving you support. I'm talking to you at night when you need attention. I'm buying you stuff, and then you're not doing anything in return for me. It's not as if I need all of that back. I'm not giving to get it back. But if you don't. It might be a signal that you don't care about me as much as you should. Okay, but actually, speaking of buying things, right? Because you're saying that you can constantly be buying stuff for somebody and they may not understand. Or maybe you're in a relationship and somebody loves that. Which got me to think, should you secure the bag to secure the relationship? Now, before we start answering, please, I want us to really be real about this and to think about it. In the world that we live in today as millennials, mm -hmm. I will restate my question, should we secure the bag to secure the relationship? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be secure the bag, secure the love. Because, I mean, it's nice to, 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 to have money. It's very nice to have money. It's nice to have someone that's able to buy you things and someone that's able to take you places where you want to go and not necessarily worry about certain things. This is nice. But <laughs> in the reality of things, like, there is still love without all those things. I will feel like those things can cloud your judgment. And I'm going to give an example. A friend that I have who was with a guy for a while. And she, well, when they started dating, she really liked him or they were, they had, you know, they had the thing going on. And there were so many perks. He take her around the world. Mm. She's in Greece today. Mm. She's in South Africa tomorrow. Yes. She's in Kenya the day after. Okay. And it was really nice and, and, and cool. Mm -hmm. But then at some point, she realized that she was not at the same point where she was when they started a relationship. She was losing. A lot of things that she thought that she felt for him. And she felt like she was being caged. All her friends told her, what are you thinking? Why would you break up with this guy? Can you not see all the things that you're getting from him? So I feel like that would cloud your judgment in the sense that when you want to, if you decide that you want to up and leave that relationship, you're thinking, how about all these other things that I've been getting from this relationship that I'm not going to get anymore? So what you're saying is that sometimes too much assurance can now become imprisonment. Exactly. One thing about... Logotians is we definitely know how to hustle mm -hmm. and when we get the money and when we get the bag you respect yourself mm -hmm. everybody else around you they respect you which got me thinking if you have the cash do you get a pass pass in relationships well, and not even not necessarily romantic ones but even just the people around you like you understand with that i've seen some people whose kids have made so much money that even their parents, it's like they can't, there's they just can't a certain way that they talk to them, you know? So mm -hmm. if you have the cash, does that necessarily mean you get a pass? And that depends on like how much the money is doing for you. So if you're with a guy who has, who has the cash, he's doing everything for you. He's buying your hair, he's buying your clothes, he's doing your make, paying for your makeup, paying for everything. You're about to get out, his driver is taking you where you're going. When he misbehaves tomorrow, you can't open your mouth to say anything. Like, why are you complaining? What is the extent to this pass you're talking? Because I don't know, I don't know, but I don't think my girlfriend now, when we get married, in a couple of years, and I have my millions of dollars, and I want to carry on her own. She would take my head off. Yes, and that's because you guys started from that point where you had nothing, and you guys built, yeah? So now that you have built on something, and you have money now, and you have everything that you want, she, you can't tell, you can't, you, there's no, you can't get any pass. Like, who are you? I was there when you were nothing. Do you understand? You can't, you can't do that. But if you meet a guy who, in fact, you don't even have, you can't even say anything, you can't negate anything that he's saying because he's just throwing money at you. But what I did with the title, though, is this whole where are you going to go notion. Is this something that we have created for ourselves in the Nigerian society, starting from our parents, right? Because, you know, our parents' generation, oh, yes, he beats me, he got his second wife, eh, eh, but he's still paying for the school fees, he's still doing this. Is this a notion that we have allowed, that we've given a pass to no, in Nigeria, in essence, to have that assurance, that at least, you know, that at least statement? 
Do you guys understand what I mean? Oh, he cheated on me, but at, at least, least. Mm. You, do you understand? Yes. Is this something that we cultivated here? It's yeah, it's an I think it's yeah, it is a Nigerian thing. Like everybody has even like our mothers when when in those days when he, their husbands were misbehaving, it's like, oh at least, you know, he comes back home, he's nice, you know. It's just like being complacent. Like I'm just going to take it because but I, I feel it's not it's not what should be. Mm-hmm. Like you as a person, you have your own, and you have something that's going for you. So how about you capitalize on that? And I suppose just like okay, but I mean, let's taking, even bring it here. Let's take it away from our parents. Do we still say that at least they oh, yeah. nowadays People do. for our for our generation? And it's not just People Nigerian. Do. It's not just in Nigeria. It's around the it's world. Global. But Nigerians just know how to like you know. No, I think I think it's because yeah, especially yeah, that it's because we're, it's because we're traditional. You know, we're traditional we're, yeah, we're really stuff. traditional people in that sense. But to be fair. Again, it would sound like as if I'm trying to defend the guys. But you have to think about it. The woman will also do things that will make the guy want to check out. This is and, I'm not talking <laughs> about, and I'm not talking about her even cheating or whatever. I'm so talking not about cooking the soup properly? Different things. Like if that's, a, if that is his love language and he's not getting it, he'll want to check out now. But people will tell you that. At least she has your children. At least she gives you peace of mind. At least this, this, this. So that at least comes to the guy, comes to the babe. Anybody can get the at least. But my own is this year. You know the one you can take. And take your at least. And walk away with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone has their so own their threshold of at least. least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there, are some people that, there are some people that they'll tell you that um, if their husband beats them, they don't really see it as a bad thing. Don't kill the person. That's the person's at least. Do you understand? But next thing, the husband will maybe just wink at their friend. Hey. And that one they cannot take. And they'll check out. Is monet- monetary relationships the new norm? No, but um, money has come to play a bigger part and should be respected for the, for the role it plays because society has moved way, way, way beyond just love. You know, there's that assurance, there's that insurance, and all those are just money based. And there's that in our generation now, living your life for other people. Everybody wants to front, flex, floss, so that people can talk about them. Everybody wants to be celebrity now. You know, you do small thing, no work, go on TV for how many days, stay in one house, you're a celeb. And you come out and you have to flex, you know? Everybody wants to pressurize everybody else. So I won't say it's the new norm because I don't want to, you know, approve it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to support it. But it is definitely the popular norm now. I know a lot of people are getting into relationships not for the right reasons, but because mm, money. And if I have security, eh, money is fine. And when yeah. money leaves, because money comes and goes sometimes, yeah. you know. When money leaves, eh, they start looking for something else. So yeah. Yeah, but if you work your business plan properly, the coming and going of money will not really affect you. Except your, see, just, except your dating dangotings. But how many dangotings and hotel dollars do we have? So which walk do you want to walk? Are you God? Are you spirit of money? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, mean, I, I feel like <laughs> we'll end with you. It's it's I wouldn't I wouldn't call it I wouldn't accept it as a norm. I feel like it is a thing mm. now. It is it is very much of a thing. Mm. Like even to the extent that a lot of people will look at you as stupid if you're going into a relationship with somebody based on what the person, the potential the person has or what the person, what you are saying in the line, along the line in the next five years, a lot of people will call you stupid. So it is a thing, it's definitely a thing now. But is it, is it what it should be? No, I don't think so. Well, like I said earlier, you don't meet everybody that you meet when they've maxed out their potential. Like you meet people along their journey in life. And so it shouldn't necessarily be about what they have. Even if it's, it's, a, lot, it's, it's a lot to consider, like for me as a person, if you're going into a relationship with somebody, is he more financially stable than you are? You know, you, you definitely need to consider yeah. certain things because you're not going to kid yourself. Like, I, these are the things that I can provide for myself. Can he, like, are we a match? Is he higher? Is he lower? I mean, you definitely need to consider certain things because we're being real. Trust is much more better for me as a person, you know, because assurance, it can change. My cousin can tell you I love you today and maybe tomorrow, you know, that he's assuring you, but assur- insurance, you know, he's already really in for sure. So, please, well, you need money to be in a relationship, like, seriously. Ah, money to maintain yourself, to buy it. So, it doesn't matter like that, but we still need it. It's not that important, but it's not as if without money, you can't be in a relationship. But you still need it in a relationship. Without money, there's no marriage. 
So if there is love without money, there is no love. So money is the most important thing. Relationship is all about what you give out and not what you take in. I think it should be based on both. It should be based on both. Uh, is give and take. Like you must be able to contribute. Both, both parties should be able to contribute to the growth of the relationship. You must be able to give and you must be able to take. So if it's one-sided, I don't think it's, it's going to work. In your stage that you are right now in your life, what do you need? Assurance or insurance? Think about it and go. Insurance. Insurance. What is insurance? <laughs> it's a is a potential in the person that you're with. Okay, assurance. Assurance, there you go. Because <laughs> I was going to say, okay, you've been assurance since the beginning of this conversation. I think I'll go for insurance. Mm, potential, okay, okay. Didn't see that one coming from the capitalist, but okay. All right. I mean, I'll let it talk to you now. Damn it, this is hard. You only get one. Right now in your life, assess your life, auntie. <laughs> Where my life is at right, right now. now. I think I think that insurance. Insurance. Yes. The potential it is. Yes. Right, we've got two potentials. We've got right now we have got a, a, a reassurance, basically. Constant reassurance to know that you're with me on this struggle, you love me, you're gonna okay. I see it. All right. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to this episode of Real Talk. And thank you guys for being here. We've got two team insurance and one assurance. But I want to know what you guys think at home. So be sure to comment below. Let us know. Are you team insurance or team assurance or team business plan? You know you, you know who you are. <laughs> be sure to link up with us on all of our social media platforms at Indani. And also be sure to use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Thank you, and I'll see you again next time.